Before we do anything else, I want to add a little more transparency to that background image because it still seems a little bit bright. Also, I want to select this point here and you can see it only has one tangent. This point was created when we subtracted the rectangle spline from the circle spline. Right now we have a sharp corner here and that's not very useful because we need to create this round shape. So we need the second tangent and you can easily add that by selecting the point and then right clicking and selecting equal tangent length. And this will create the second tangent which will be parallel to the first tangent and it will have the exact same length as the first tangent. In this video we're going to talk about how we can modify tangents on spline points. And there's two ways you can do that. One is by using the move, scale or rotate tools and the other way is by using the pen tool. And in this video we're going to have a look at how we can modify tangents on spline points using the move, scale or rotate tools. When using move scale or rotate, there's two important things to remember. One, you have to make sure that you only have your spline selected. If I select an additional object here and then select a point and I'm trying to you know, modify the tangents here, what happens is that I will move the point and I can't tweak the tangents. So make sure you only have your spline selected. The other thing to remember is that you can only have one spline point selected at a time if you want to tweak the tangents. If I select two points here and I try to tweak the tangents up here, what happens is something like this. You can see I have no control over what I'm doing really. And this is bad news because actually it's very helpful to be able to have more than one point selected and to quickly change the tangents on one point and then uh, change the tangents on this point up here without having to reselect the points all the time. The good news is we can have more than one point selected on a spline if we use the pen tool to modify tangents. So make sure you only have one point selected when you use the move, scale or rotate tools. The tangents can be changed quite easily by just left clicking and dragging on either of these tangents and you can change the length and the rotation of these tangents. By just left clicking on a tangent you will always change both tangents. In this case that's not really what we want because we have this perfect curve up here we don't want to change that. So we would only want to tweak this tangent here and you can do that by breaking the tangents and you can do that by holding down the shift key and left clicking and dragging on the tangent that you want to modify and you can see I can now change the length and rotation of this tangent here. Now the problem with doing that is that it is virtually impossible to keep this tangent here parallel to this tangent. However, on a curved shape like this, it is really important that these tangents always stay parallel to each other. Because if I change this tangent here, and I'm exaggerating a little bit, if it's not parallel to the other tangent, you will create a corner. We can fix that by right clicking and selecting equal tangent direction to make sure that these tangents are parallel again. So let's see what happens if we select this option here. In this case you can see the tangent that we modified is lined up with the second tangent here. So that's perfect because we haven't changed the curve up here. However, there is one thing to remember here. It is not always the tangent that you modify that gets lined up with the other tangent by using equal tangent direction. The tangent that is made parallel to the other tangent is the one that is facing towards the end of the spline. And if you take a look at this spline you can see we have a color that goes from white to blue. 
white being the start of the spline and blue being the end of the spline. And that's the reason why, in this case, the tangent that we modified was the one that got aligned to the other tangent. If I go back a step and right-click and reverse the sequence of the spline, we now have the start of the spline down here and the end up here. And if I select equal tangent direction now, what happens is that the bottom tangent gets aligned to the tangent that we modified. And that is not what we want because this destroys the shape up here. So if this happens, just go back a step, reverse the sequence of the spline, and then use equal tangent direction. So let's go back a few steps. On points that only have one tangent, like the one down here, you don't really need to worry about tangent directions. You can simply left click on this tangent and change the length and rotation. And we don't have to hold down the shift key when we have a point that only has one tangent. Sometimes it's also useful to use the scale tool for changing tangents on spline points. If I select this point here and I now have my scale tool selected, I can simply left click and drag in the viewport to scale the tangents. The nice thing about this is that we don't accidentally change the rotation of the tangents. However, you can only change both tangents simultaneously. and There's no way to scale just one of these tangents. If you left click and drag on one of the tangents, you will modify the tangents as if using the move tool. So that's one thing to remember here. And again, on spline points that only have one tangent, we don't really have to worry about changing two tangents because we only have one. So in this case, I could maybe use the move tool and line this point down here up a little better, adjust the rotation of the tangent and then switch to the scale tool. And I could scale this tangent up and try to get close to the shape that we need. The rotate tool is not as useful, but spine tangents can be tweaked using the rotate tool. And like with the scale tool, you don't want to left click and drag on the tangents, but instead you want to use the gizmo to rotate the tangents like this. And you can hold down the shift key to rotate those tangents in increments of 10 degrees. So this is all you need to know about tweaking tangents on spline points using the move, scale and rotate tools. In the next video we're going to have a look at how we can use the pen tool to modify tangents on spline points.